All right, welcome back. So now we're going to talk about one of my favorite tools, which is one of the simplest tools, um, the eyedropper tool. So sample colors from an image. So let's do that. So let's go in here. And if I click on my skin tone, it'll pop up right here. If I click on my beard, it'll give me that color here. If I click on my shirt, it'll show up there. If I click on the kind of the pattern on my shirt, if I can get in there, let's see. Okay, let me do that eyedropper. There you go. Okay, and let's say that we want to get the background. So if I hit X, you can see right here, if I hit X, it'll switch between the foreground and the background. So the color in the background is the background. The color in the foreground is the foreground. So right now it's white. Now if I select this, if I eyedrop this, okay, it's going to be kind of a, a cream color, right? So that's the eyedropper. Basically, all you're doing is you're going into an image, a picture of somebody, a source, and grabbing the color. So if I right click, we have the 3D material eyedropper, okay, which will not let me do anything because I'm not working with 3D, so I'm not going to really do anything with that. We have the color sampler tool, which will pop up right here, and so if I go around, it'll give me the color codes for RGB. So for RGB, if I double click here real quick, I'll show you. Um, RGB goes from zero. So red is zero to two, 255. Green is zero to 255 and blue is zero to 255. So if you go to blue and you type in any number between zero and 255, you're going to get that combo. So if I do 255, we're going to get white. Okay, now if I do zero, so if I go down and I do zero on each one, guess what? We're going to get black. And if I go in between, so let's grab a calculator and 255 divided by two, that's 127. So let's do 127 um, from the top to the bottom. That's going to be our halfway point. So it'll be exactly in the middle of the color and we have gray. Okay, so with this, what it's doing is the same thing. It's giving us the the color codes here. So red is 229, green is 224, and blue is 218. So if I go down here, it'll give me number 3, 42, 42, 52. Okay, and then this is 119, 83, 69. My beard is 39, 35, 36 etc etc okay so if I click here wherever I click it's going to grab the sample color and give me the numbers here so if you're trying to grab a color or get a color like if I want to know what the color is here um, okay it won't let me do that because I've maxed out but what we can do is we can close that and if I just right click and delete okay oh well, let me do that okay so if I go right on it or right next to it okay then we can delete it Which, like I said, this is a cool tool to use. It's just, it's for certain things. You know, if you want to test stuff out or if you want to get a whole bunch of colors from a source of whatever you're using, then this is a great tool to use for that specific use. Um, the eyedropper I use a lot. All right, so there you go. So now I'm going to talk about the next tool. So we got the ruler tool. So this will just show you, um, this will measure out the width and the height to whatever way you go. It'll measure either way. So, and we can just, you know, at just point, point A to point B. Um, and we can change the measurement here by pixels, inches. So if I do inches, let's say it's 20 inches. 
And then the height is, okay, now I'm to 51, let's go to 60. Okay, that's 60. Okay, then we have the note tool. So let's say that you want to write a note. This is awesome. Thanks for changing the color of my hair. <laughs> and then I can do another one. Please change my hair to green. Okay, and wherever I click, that's going to be a note. So, like, we can put notes all over the place here. Okay, and then you can just fill them in. As you click on them, then you can write your note here. Okay. And then last but not least, we have the count tool. So, this would be great for kind of like marking out where you want to edit and stuff. So, let's say you want to edit my hair. Okay, um, so edit my hair, number 15, my eyes, change the color of my eyes, uh, change the color of my ears, my beard, this design here, and then the color of my shirt, and get rid of my moles, and you know, all the kind of stuff that I have on my chest there, and I get rid of the hair here. You can really mark out a lot of stuff. I don't want to really compare this to a crime scene, but it's similar to what people would do at a crime scene when there's a murder of some sort. They would mark, you know, different spots of what happened and try to figure out what happened in the murder. So it's not that extreme, but you get the idea. Um, so we can delete that. We can create a group. Hit clear. And the clear will just uh, take it out, right? Um, if I do note, we can do clear all. I'll hit OK. And you can do the same with the ruler. We can just do clear and the same thing, OK? So that is the eyedropper tool, the 3D material eyedropper tool, the color sampler tool, the ruler tool, the note tool, and the count tool. And the keyboard shortcut for all these is the letter I. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.